Okay. Uh, here is my uh, Johnson 90 horsepower. I just uh, mounted it from my boat, and here is the setup. So a lot of uh, people ask about how to wire the trim, power trim and tilt uh, using a car solenoid. So here's how I did it. You need a spare uh, cable, uh, one for negative, one for positive, one for black, one for red. So this is my spare cable. You take the spare cable and you connect it to this um, car starter solenoid. The red color uh, from the battery connected it to this uh, solenoid, uh, connected to this big black or the small screw here and then the um, cable you have from the your remote control the uh, positive uh, well sorry yeah the, 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 the line from the wires from the remote control this is the positive red color wire from the remote control you're going to connect it to this big um, screw where you have it connected it to the battery positive and the blue color from the remote control which is uh, tilting up blue for sky up so uh, you connected it to the opposite side of the negative uh, screw or terminal here um, so so this uh, blue color from the remote control will connect it here. The green color will just connect directly without connecting to the uh, solenoid, car, car starter solenoid. You're going to connect um, uh, directly to the green color of, um, of the cable to the engine. So if you go to the engine, as you can see, and, uh, again, um, the black color from, so there is your three wires coming uh, from the, uh, the red color from the remote control connected it to the red color that connected it to the battery the blue color connected it to the small screw here on the car starter solenoid and the green color co connect directly to the green color that goes to the and the blue color uh, from the engine you're going to wire that to this big screw which is opposite side of the positive terminal and the black color wire from the engine you're going to connect to this black color or the black screw here sorry or the small screw here opposite of the blue color uh, 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 screw and then um, that's how you connect. Um, so the theory is the uh, going up um, you do to, to power tilt uh, the engine up because it's heavy, so you do need to go through this mechanism of the car solenoid. But for the coming down, you do not need to connect, uh, and utilize the solenoid um, uh, mechanism. You can just connect the down uh, green wire from the engine to the uh, green wire to the remote control. As long as there's uh, electricity, uh, 12 volts electricity it's going to power the motor down um, so that's how uh, to uh, connect uh, using a car solenoid so remember you need to get a spare spare cable here um, the red color for positive um, for the big uh, screw on the car, car solenoid and the black color uh, cable for the small screw for the solenoid um, that's how you connect, and then you connect to the black color to the engine, and the green color, which is connect to the green color without connecting to the solenoid, but the blue color, you will have to connect to the blue color, um, blue color um, wire to from the remote control to the engine. Uh, there you have it, because I um, have so many questions over the years, and I decided to make a Clara uh, uh, video of how to utilize a car solenoid to power uh, to tr power trim till the motor to this uh, remote control so I'm going to demonstrate now you can see this is the remote control so power to this end see that I'm pressing the power the power button down 
and that motor is tilting down. And uh, I'm powering the motor up. You can see the motor is up. By the way, that's an outboard stand uh, up to 360 pounds, and my Johnson 90 horsepower is only 301 pounds. So, as you can see, it's on two inches uh, caster wheels. So it's uh, doing pretty good. You can see I'm trimming down, you know. But again, it's using that um, using that uh, car starter solenoid to uh, instead of the OEM uh, uh, solenoid to to do this uh, to do to do this uh, power uh, tilt and trim. Okay, there you have it.